Shintadichach and welcome to the second episode of our instructional belly dance videos. So today we are going to do a little bit more steps and especially we are going to work with the upper part of the body. So we are going to do a quick warm up together and as if my husband is going to drum for us. So we start with the feet hip width apart and just relax your knees, engage your belly, shoulders back and we just want to do a nice shoulder scroll from forward to backward. So I'm going to turn. You just leave your arms very nice uh, and uh, relax and try just to move the shoulders. So I'm going down, up forward and back. Trying to make like big circles with your shoulders. Switch direction, so we are coming from backward to forward. Engage always your belly and bend your knees. And stop hands on your shoulders and you want to make big circles with your elbows. From up, down. So forward, up, backward and down. And switch direction. So I'm going from backward to front. And release. So I want to bring my arms here in this position, practically where there are your hips, bending your knees a little bit. So we try to exercise this movement with the shoulders. So I want to try to imagine that you want to touch something with your shoulder and you are alternating the movement of the shoulder. Remember not to move your elbows. So it's not going to be this, but simply I want to go forward and backward with the shoulders. So if I'm turning, this is what is going to happen. So the elbows practically are moving, okay? Let's do this together. And right forward, left forward. Right forward, left forward. Right forward, left forward. Right forward. And we're going to speed up. And right, left, right, left, right, left right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and speed up, right, right, left, 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 yes, keep on going, engage your belly, try not to move your elbows, so, the faster the movement is, uh, the shorter and smaller it's going to be. And release. So at this point, the movement alternating can be very, very fast. So we're going to speed it up a little more. So it's getting very small. A little bit more, try. Keep your hands on your hips. And relax. Same thing now we're going to do with the arms that are more or less in this position. So they are lower than your shoulder and the hands are nicely like, like that, like you have your hands on something. So it could be a good exercise at home that you put your hands on a piece of furniture or on your table and so they won't move and you just move your shoulders. So let's try together. Pretend that you have your hands on something. So it's going to be right forward, left forward, right forward, left forward, right, left, right, left, speed it up and right, Left, right, left, right, 
left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Ready, ready to make it even faster. And right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yes, so keep on going. And we're gonna make it super fast, even smaller, alternating. Engage your belly. And ready to stop and relax. Now, so we have this alternating shoulder called shimmy that is very much used into the oriental belly dance. But there, is all, there are also like three-quarter shoulder shimmy where, like we did the last time, on a like count of four of the rhythm, you will use uh, three times just to do the movement and the fourth one is gonna be a pose. So it's gonna look like that. So you take your position, engage your belly, roll your shoulders back and we try to hit right, then left and right and wait. And we start from the left. So it's gonna be left, right, left and stay. And right, left, right and stay. And left, right, left, stay together with the music so we start slowly and right left right stay left right left stay right left right stay left right left we speed it up and right left 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 right Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and speed it up. One, two, three, 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 two, three, one, 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 two, three, slow a little bit. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, again, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and slower. Right, left, right, stay. Left, right, left, stay. Right, left, right, stay. Left, right, left, and relax. Roll your shoulders. And maybe you can just do nice uh, side to side with your neck going with the chin to your chest. This is to release a little bit the muscles. Now we're gonna do a very nice movement always with your arms. So we're gonna just put the arms in the same position and we are gonna move them in little frames. So it's gonna be elbow, wrist, hand. Elbow, wrist, hand. Elbow is coming up wrist is coming up, hand stay, elbow, wrist, hand, okay, and elbow, wrist, hand, stay, elbow, wrist, hand, stay, elbow, wrist, hand, stay, elbow, wrist, hand, again, elbow, wrist, hand, and elbow, wrist and we try to make it fluid it's like you wanna undulate your arms and it's gonna be right and left and right and left so this is this is very good it's a very good exercise for the upper body and i hope you enjoyed it i know it can be a little bit tricky so the next exercise, we're gonna work on the movement of the wrist. So I'm gonna put my arms in this position so they are like uh, the same width as my shoulders and I'm gonna bring my arms in this position, okay? It can be helpful to do this with one arm at a time. From here, I'm just holding my elbow and the elbow is not gonna move and I'm gonna create movement from the wrist. I wanna do this movement like 
imagining that my arms are like uh, seaweeds into the water and they are floating very nicely. So notice that there is no movement in the elbow. I'm just moving from the wrist and the hand is following. So everything, the movement is directed by the wrist. So try together with me. And very well. And switch. So I'm starting on the left. Remember there is a wrist that is working. Keep on going a little bit more. So we're putting both arms together and we are going on the same direction without moving the elbows. Or to opposite direction. So remember that the hand is nice and soft and is following the movement of the wrist. We try to make it faster. Yes. Try. And relax. So, we're going to do the same movement now with the hands that are framing the hips. So, it's going to give the illusion. It's still the, this part of the arm that is working and the elbows are staying in place. You have, so you have to imagine that really you're creating space under the armpits and I'm just moving with the elbows and the wrist are creating this movement and the hands are following. So let's try. Together starting from the right, left. So try to make it flowy. Engage always your belly, bend your knees a little bit. Keep on going. So there is no movement in the elbows. So the last step of this movement, we're going to try to do it extending our arms and bringing the movement in the same way but with the arms up. So when I have the arms up, I have to be able to see my hands. So a lot of people have a big extension of the shoulder, some people don't. So let's say that the right position of your hands and your arms is when you can easily see your hands, keeping the shoulders back. So if you can check your posture, you don't have to look something like that, but always keep your neck nice and long. So from here, I'm gonna do the same movement trying to block the elbows and move always from the, this last part of my arm. So we do this nice uh, seaweed arms. And try to come down. So change level of what we are doing. One more time, up. And go down. So now we're going to use the other part of the rest of the body. There is to say we're going to more use the hips and we're going to try to complement with the hips what we have just done with the seaweed arms. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to learn how to slide side to side. We've done it already in the last class, but we're going to do this together again. So we have the feet hip width apart, bend your knees a little bit, engage your belly and 
with these legs, I'm going to try to shift the weight from one foot to the other. I'm doing this in a way where my shoulders are staying centered. So imagine that uh, your hips are on a rail and you can just move on this direction. So I'm not using the knees. So you see I have this belt which is clearer, it's silver, and you can see this line of my hips so that is staying straight all the time. And I'm just sliding side to side. So try to do this. So let's try. It's better at the beginning to put the arms here. So this will give you more the idea of the isolation of the movement that you are doing. So I'm sliding right and left, just using the weight of the body, keeping the rest of the body centered. So you can try to put your hands on your hips and see what it looks like. A little bit more. And come back to center. So we're going to try to put together these hips with the seaweed arms framing the hips. It's going to give the illusion that the hands are pushing the air and the hips are moving to the side. So it's like I'm pushing nicely my hips side to side. So let's try this together. I'm starting on the right, so bringing my weight and my hips and my hands more to the right, okay? And right and left. So I'm not moving the elbows, just keeping my knees both bent but without using them. And right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left. So you can keep on going like that. But if you feel that you have understood the movement, what you can do is just play with the levels of your arms and bring your arms up, keeping the movement of the arms and the hips and maybe coming down. time so you can stay just framing your hips or if you want to try experiment that you feel you can do it just do it try and down and come back to center now we're gonna go back to our like shimmy of the shoulders and we try to walk with it. So it's, it's gonna be pretty easy because we're gonna step on the first movement of the shoulder. So it's gonna look something like that. If I'm starting with the right shoulder, I'm gonna step with the right foot and I'm gonna do right, left, right. When there is the pose, I'm gonna prepare the weight, I'm bringing the weight on the right to free the left and start and do the left step and starting with the left shoulder. So it's going to be left, right, left and right, left, right and left, right, left. We try to do this with the arms that are a little bit higher, always the hands a little bit lower compared to your shoulders, so we, try, we are trying on right dominant side, so right shoulder and right foot. And right, left, right, and step left, right, left, and right, left, right, and left, right, 
left and right, left, right and left, right, left. So now that we have seen some slow movements, the seaweed arms with the hip work, I'm going to show you some fast movement where we can put together the shoulders and some hip work. So we're going to do the same hip work that we did in the first episode, so the gawazi movement, but we try to walk with it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring the feet hip width apart, bend the knees, bring the arms nicely there, or if it is too much, you're tired, you just bring your arms nicely here, and we start to do the movement in place. You remember, I want to hit side to side with the hips. So when I want to start to walk with this movement, what I'm going to do, each time that I hit, I'm just lifting the opposite foot. Keeping the knees bent, and again, I try to walk in place, and then when you feel like you try to walk forward, Try to keep always your feet flat to the ground, especially when you're hitting. And I can walk backward. And when you feel ready, you can bring your arms like this. Going backward, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and forward, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and rest. Now we're gonna put together this movement with the shoulder shimmy, like with the three-quarter shoulder shimmy. So I'm starting a little bit back with the, for to be ready to do the movement with the shoulder. So when I'm putting together the shoulder and the feet, it's gonna be one step every three shoulder movements. So if I'm starting with the right shoulder, I'll step with the right foot. It's gonna look like that. Right, left, right and then I step left right left and right left right and left right left and right left right and left right left at this point I'm gonna go back with my gawazi right left right left right left right, left. So let's do this together. I'm gonna do four forward and four backward. So four shoulder shimmy walking forward and four gawazi back. And one, and two, and right, and left, ready to go back with the right, left, right, left, again, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and back, right, left, right, left, and right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left, right, left, and back, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna do four more, five, six, seven, eight, and right, left, right, and left, right, left, and 
right, left, right, and left, right, left, and go back faster, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, again, right, left, right, and left, right, left, and right, left, right, and left, right, left, and back, and right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and rest, especially your arms. So now we're going to do two very little sequences using the slow moves and the fast move that we have learned today. The slow moves are going to go on a Wachta Kabiro rhythm, so it's an 8-4 rhythm, and the fast move on an Ayub Fellahi, so a 2-4 rhythm together. So, follow me. We start with a slow sequence. So, hip work with a C with arms, framing the hips for the moment. You can keep on going like this, or if you want, you can move and change the level of your arms. So you choose until where you want to go. The last sequence is going to be the faster move with the shoulders coming forward and the hip work coming backwards. So, shoulder shimmy walking forward and gawazi walking backward. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, if you want, one, two, arms up. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and back. And so we're going to do a little sequence dancing together. I'm going to call the movements and we're going to try to do this kind of improvisation together. So try to follow me and I really, really hope you enjoyed this class and I thank you already in advance for joining us today. So I'm starting with the slides of the hips side to side with the seaweed arms. Bringing my arms a little bit up. And ready for some uh, kind rolls. Going up again with the hips sliding inside to side. With the seaweed arms, with the arms up.
coming down. I'm stopping my hips and I'm just doing the arm work without moving my elbows. And up. And again, hips sliding side to side, ready for the change of rhythm. And Gawa's in place. And just walking in place, play with your arms, bring the arms up if you like. And I'm gonna add the shoulder shimmy. Walking. Going backward. Staying in place. I stop my hips for an alternate shimmy that we did at the very beginning of the class. Small and fast. Keep on going. And Gawazi. Ready to finish.